I finally got that ring out of my glasses. It's Will Chu here, your financial engineer, and you know what that is. It's Two Minute Tuesdays, let's roll that intro. This week's Two Minute Tuesdays is all about what is the best structure for you. Now, the best loan structure out there is really subjective because everyone's financial circumstances are always going to be different. But in this video, I'm going to be giving you a very high level overview of what a typical mortgage structure that most typical Kiwis would have when buying their first time. So once you've gone unconditional, it's time to decide on how you want to structure your loan. It is very important at the stage that you get it correct because if you don't, it can cost you dearly and not reducing your mortgage as fast as, you, as you'd like to. And learn from my mistake. I didn't get any advice at all, or should I say I got very minimal advice because by the time I wanted to learn how to structure the mortgage, I was already fixed in at three years at 5.99% because everyone was thinking that the mortgage interest rates were starting to climb. And at 5.99, that was the peak. And then the following subsequent years, the rates were starting to uh, decrease. And I tried to break out of that and I couldn't because the cost was just too much. So it is very important that you get this right. Now, what are some of the key things that you need to understand when structuring your mortgage? Well, it really boils down to three things. One is flexibility. Second is certainty. And thirdly is understanding your risk management or risk tolerance. Flexibility really comes down to the type of product that the bank you are with. So most banks, most banks would have a revolving credit facility. They just call it differently. So Westpac would call it choices every day. ANZ calls it a flexi facility and ASP calls it an orbit facility. Now, certainty is basically having a fixed term loan and you're paying a little bit of a premium to fix it for a longer term. The third thing is risk management. This really comes down to how disciplined are, with, are you with money. So what is the most common mortgage structure out there? Well, it's actually the fixed rate home loan. And most people would just sit it and forget it because they just want to know what is their repayments going to be. And that's totally fine. So let's say that you've got a mortgage for half, let's say that you've got a mortgage for half a million dollars and most people would say fixed for one year at the 2.29%. Now that is totally fine, but if interest rates rise, then you've really exposed yourself. And so what that means is that you should do something called interest rate averaging, which I'll cover off in another two minute Tuesday video because it's, it's a whole other topic to cover. But what you should be looking at or considering is breaking that half a million dollar mortgage into multiple tranches. So uh, one year, um, half a million dollars at 250K, and the other half at maybe the two or three year rate, just to give yourself a little bit of certainty if interest rates do rise. Now, no one knows what the future holds. Some people say interest rates are gonna decrease. Some people say that interest rates are gonna increase in the longer term, but that totally depends on your situation. And there is no right or wrong answer on how you structure your loan. It's more, more about managing that risk. Now, some Kiwis prefer having the flexibility and also the certainty, and that's totally fine. You can mix and match. So for example, let's use the half a million dollar example. You can use $50,000 in a revolving credit facility and then the other 450 can be broken up into either different tranches, different rates, so one or two years. But how do you calculate what that limit should be? I actually did a whole other video on how a revolving credit facility works. So you can click the button above or click a link below. But most typically, this is how I would work it with my customers is understand your budget, so take your income, subtract all your expenses, subtract what is the expected mortgage repayment, and if there's a surplus at the end, times that by 12, because you're working on a monthly budget figure, and then you'll get an annual saving figure per year. That figure is gonna be your revolving credit limit, because that's the expected savings you would get for a year. To quickly recap what is the best mortgage structure for you, it really comes down to three things. First one is flexibility, second is certainty, and third is understanding the risk tolerance or risk management for you and the household who is taking out the mortgage. Once you understand these three things, then it becomes clearer and easier to decide on what is the best mortgage structure for you. Now that's a wrap for this week's Two Minute Tuesdays. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it, and I'll see you guys next week.